Welcome, I'm John Caldera, president of the Independence Institute and your devil's advocate. And a little later in the program, we're going to talk to Police Chief White about cameras on cops. You don't want to miss that. But first, you know, young people are all liberal. There are no conservative free market young people because it's just not hip. Well, except for the folks at Gen Op. Hey, John Lockwood, thank you for being with us. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, thank you so much for right. having me on. Now, you're with an organization called Gen Op because younger generations can't say full words like <laughs> applications. You have to say app. I got this cool new it, app on my phone. <laughs> so Gen Op stands for? Generation Opportunity. All right. What opportunity are you talking about? Well, we're a millennial advocacy group, and so we want to expand economic liberty and opportunity that comes from that. Not cool. That not is cool. too cool. It's not cool. You're young, all right? Young people don't want that type of liberty. They, they, they want governmental controls. They want Obamacare. They want uh, student loans. You know, you're, 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 going in, you're talking to college kids a lot, right? Yeah. This so is we, your demographic. Yeah, so we actually have toured across the state talking to students on college campuses and reaching out to them. So I don't think but they you're the all minority, agree with you, though. No. What do you mean not. you're not the minority? You're most um, definitely. I went to CU Boulder. I, I was one little tiny voice in a sea of socialism. You, you, you can't find any like-minded people on college campuses. Oh, we actually totally have. Really? Um, it took about four days for anyone to say that they like or agree with Obamacare. And, I mean, there's intermittently, of course, some people that say they agree with it. But um, we've actually had a really good response, and we've recruited a lot of volunteers from college campuses. To do what exactly? Well, so actually our biggest effort that we're doing right now is a get out the vote effort to get young people out to the polls so that, uh, you know, our generation can really be heard in the selection cycle. And so we're doing phone calls and reaching out through social media and using kind of, you know, new innovative tools to uh, reach out to young people. All right. The left has this down, all right? Starting with Bill Clinton's first election, it was rock the vote. I remember MTV trying to get all the hipsters then to get out and vote because young people voting means a Democrat vote. Are, are you worried that getting out a vote for young people means a Democratic vote or a left-leaning vote? Well, we don't endorse candidates or political parties but I think that what we'll see happen is a lot of young people coming out to say the government needs to get under control and start lifting up policies that get in our way. And, and I think that we will see young people become more of a mover in elections than it already has been. And I think that, you know, with groups like Gen Op getting out and talking to people about economic liberty, I think that things will start changing. How do you make that real for kids? You know, sorry, kids. Young adults your age. Young adults. Damn young people. All the <laughs> hair. So what, do you, what is it that you're trying to tell them? What is, what is the message that attracts them to, to a free market message? I think the biggest thing is that young people want choice. They want innovation, and they want jobs. Right now, unemployment for young people is way too high. It's about 15% the last jobs report. And when you have student loans on top of all your other expenses, if you don't have a job that pays significant amounts comparable to that, you're not free. And that, well, then that, the, answer like is, that. the answer is to lower student loan payments or to keep them artificially low. Isn't that the answer? Isn't that why no. younger people no. want more government? It's, it's not. We, we, we believe that the free market has a lot of ways that it can bring opportunity to young people. And when you see policies like Obamacare and the internet sales tax, those are policies that are going to restrict innovation and young people want to own their own businesses and they know that so I think that that is much different. I, I, you think back to the 60s and young people were the radicals putting down the man because they the man was trying to tell them how to live and what to do. He had students for free speech which turned into a movement quite the opposite of free speech. So is this a movement that's that's taking place on college campuses that there's a small group of I'm gonna say libertarian but a small L freedom loving uh, young people who go wait a second this is not working we need to do something different and are they the ones being held down yeah we definitely are there's a so? war on youth that's how, wait, how so what is the war on youth the war on youth is uh, you know economically we're facing job prospects that are not high and we're facing student loan debt on top of the national debt, and there's all these different policies that 
compounded make the problems even worse. And so a war on youth is generational theft, like Obamacare, and the national debt. Well, let me bring it to Colorado. Remember when Obamacare came to Colorado? Cover, uh, it was, um, uh, I forget the name of the, uh, uh, it wasn't Cover Colorado, but whatever. Connect the, for Health. Connect Colorado. for Health, thank you. They loved me. They, I can imagine. Well, they had all these <laughs> wonderful advertisements to your generation. Uh, get your brochurance, and it had a bunch of drunk college kids over the, with a um, um, keg of beer. There were a couple girls and a, and a guy looking at each other going, oh, I'm so glad he paid for my birth control because I'm still going to score with Timmy over there, or whatever. I mean, really wild stuff. That's how you connect with kids your age, right? Well, those ads didn't work, and those were in an effort to push people into the exchange, and it's coercive. And I think what happens is you see these really, I just, I don't, that didn't work. Young people are not signing up for the exchange. Uh, you see young people like edgy campaigns. We actually have uh, campaigns that, you know, ad campaigns that are not so offensive as those, but still edgy. Like we have a, an ad that plays off of the popular dating app, Tinder, and it's called Pander. And so you swipe <laughs> left on the policies you don't like. and. Uh, you know, it's okay to be edgy, but not to assume that young people are so stupid that they'll sign up for government health care when they know that there's better options. The traditional thinking is if we get a young person to the poll, we're going to be able to get a left-leaning vote. If we get that person to the poll and their friends, you know, this is a secure lock vote for whatever the left is, whatever the Democrat running or whatever the ballot initiatives are. Are you going to be able to give me some hope that that might not actually be the case, that there will be a time when, when college-age kids uh, and young adults, when they get out to vote, they might actually be thinking, I don't want all this debt from, my pre from the previous generation I'm going to have to pay. I don't need all that debt. I would like to be able to get a job. Yeah, so actually the Colorado Independent talked about our internet sales tax push. We don't want to see that happen, so we've been pushing back against that. And they actually said it may just be an issue that drives millennials out to the polls. And so I was actually surprised to see that um, they said that. But Because that's a very liberal paper. It's, it's very progressive. And so I think what, you know, to me, any young person, when they go onto the internet, doesn't want to see an internet sales tax. And so when you can talk about issues like that, and it's very real, I think that you'll see young people say, wait a second, I don't want to have that happen to me or to my peers. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me talk about you know, this side of the equation, which is the conservatives, side of old guys, guys like me, we don't understand how to communicate with millennials. There was a wonderful cover story on Reason Magazine that says, millennials, they're not listening to you. Wait, what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> Very well done. No, I get it. So what, what, what is it that we need to know in order to communicate better to the, the groups that you're working with? Well, I think the biggest issue that faces our generation is the economy. And if you can talk about the economy and drive that message home, that's the one thing that really unites the young people. On the college campuses I've seen, they all want to see their futures and their hopes succeed. And so if you can tap into that and really reach out to them and, and provide solutions and options for them to gain that opportunity, they'll be much more receptive than to that other person is wrong and not really providing better alternatives. What, what about the war on women? This, that birth control seems, seems to be the hot button, at least this, this campaign. And darn those conservatives, all they want to do is control your uterus. Is this a message that works for, for millennials? I would imagine they are much more socially tolerant than a lot of older conservatives. You know, young people are united on economic issues and I think that, you know, our generation is socially tolerant and we're not so dumb to think that, you know, one issue is going to change the course of history. We know that there's a lot of different facets to our future and so this election, you know, we have to get people to care about jobs in the economy and that that really is the the biggest issue facing our generation people want to get involved with gen op where do they go what do they do well they can go to genop.org they can also go to freethefuture.org which is a really good website where you can go to sign petitions fill out surveys and really have your voice heard in, in, in an online uh, platform but also our twitter our state twitter is twitter.com um, slash genopco for colorado 
Gen Op CO. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, thank you so much. Best of luck. And, and I hate the young. You'll grow no, up. You'll you know don't. what this is like someday. Stay tuned. <laughs>